Richard G. Swinburne, born 26 December 1934, is a British philosopher. He is an emeritus professor of philosophy at the University of Oxford. Over the last 50 years Swinburne has been an influential proponent of philosophical arguments for the existence of God. His philosophical contributions are primarily in the philosophy of religion and philosophy of science. He aroused much discussion with his early work in the philosophy of religion, a trilogy of books consisting of the coherence of theism, the existence of God, and faith and reason. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Academic career. Swinburne received an open scholarship to study classics at Exeter College, Oxford, but in fact graduated with a first-class BA in philosophy, politics, and economics. Swinburne has held various professorships through his career in academia. From 1972 to 1985 he taught at Keele University. During part of this time, he gave the Gifford Lectures at Aberdeen from 1982 to 1984, resulting in the book The Evolution of the Soul. From 1985 until his retirement in 2002 he was Nolith Professor of the Philosophy of the Christian Religion at the University of Oxford his successor in this chair is Brian Leftow. He has continued to publish regularly since his retirement. Swinburne has been an active author throughout his career, producing a major book every two to three years. He has played an important role in recent debate over the mind-body problem, defending a substance dualism that recalls the work of René Descartes in important respects. See The Evolution of the Soul, 1997. His books are primarily very technical works of academic philosophy, but he has written at the popular level as well. Of the non-technical works, his Is There a God? 1996, summarizing for a non-specialist audience many of his arguments for the existence of God and plausibility in the belief of that existence, is probably the most popular, and is available in 22 languages. <laughs> Christian apologetics A member of the Orthodox Church, he is noted as one of the foremost Christian apologists, arguing in his many articles and books that faith in Christianity is rational and coherent in a rigorous philosophical sense. William Hasker writes that his "...tetralogy on Christian doctrine, together with his earlier trilogy on the philosophy of theism, is one of the most important apologetic projects of recent times." While Swinburne presents many arguments to advance the belief that God exists, he argues that God is a being whose existence is not logically necessary see modal logic, but metaphysically necessary in a way he defines in his The Christian God. Other subjects on which Swinburne writes include personal identity in which he espouses a view based on the concept of a soul, and epistemic justification. He has written in defense of Cartesian dualism and libertarian free will. Although he is best known for his vigorous rational defense of Christian intellectual commitments, he also has a theory of the nature of passionate faith, which is developed in his book Faith and Reason. According to an interview Swinburne did with FOMA magazine, he converted from Anglicanism, Church of England, to Eastern Orthodoxy around 1996. I don't think I changed my beliefs in any significant way. I always believed in the apostolic succession, that the Church has to have its authority dating back to the Apostles, and the general teaching of the Orthodox Church on the saints and the prayers for the departed and so on, these things I have always believed. Swinburne's philosophical method reflects the influence of Thomas Aquinas. He admits that he draws from Aquinas a systematic approach to philosophical theology. Swinburne, like Aquinas, moves from basic philosophical issues for example, the question of the possibility that God may exist in Swinburne's The Coherence of Theism, to more specific Christian beliefs for example, the claim in Swinburne's revelation that God has communicated to human beings propositionally in Jesus Christ. Swinburne moves in his writing program from the philosophical to the theological, building his case rigorously, and relying on his previous arguments as he defends particular Christian beliefs. He has attempted to reassert classical Christian beliefs with an apologetic method that he believes is compatible with contemporary science. That method relies heavily on inductive logic, seeking to show that his Christian beliefs fit best with the evidence. National Life Stories conducted an oral history interview with Richard Swinburne in 2015 for its science and religion collection held by the British Library. Major books 
Space and Time, 1968 The Concept of Miracle, 1970 The Coherence of Theism, 1977 New Edition 2016 Part 1 of his Trilogy on Theism the Existence of God, 1979 New Edition 2004, Part 2 of his Trilogy on Theism Faith and Reason, 1981 New Edition 2005, Part 3 of his Trilogy on Theism The Evolution of the Soul, 1986, ISBN 0-19-823698-0, 1997 edition online Miracles, 1989 Responsibility and Atonement, 1989 Part 1 of his Tetralogy on Christian Doctrines Revelation, 1991 Part 2 of his Tetralogy on Christian Doctrines The Christian God, 1994 Part 3 of his Tetralogy on Christian Doctrines Is There a God, 1996, ISBN 0-19-823545-3 Simplicity as Evidence of Truth, The Aquinas Lecture, 1997 Providence and the Problem of Evil, 1998 Part 4 of his Tetralogy on Christian Doctrines Epistemic Justification, 2001 The Resurrection of God Incarnate, 2003 Was Jesus God, 2008 Free Will and Modern Science, ed. 2011, ISBN 978-0197264898 Mind, Brain, and Free Will, 2013 Topic. Spiritual autobiography Richard Swinburne, The Vocation of a Natural Theologian, in Philosophers Who Believe, Kelly James Clark, ed., Downers Grove, InterVarsity Press, 1993, pp. 179-202. See also Theodicy in Contemporary Philosophy of Religion List of Science and Religion Scholars Topic. References Topic. Sources Vardy, Peter The Puzzle of God. Collins Sons & Co. pp. 99-106. Topic. Further reading Topic. Critical assessment Brown, Colin. Miracles and the Critical Mind. Exeter, Paternoster, Grand Rapids, Eerdmans 1984. 180-4. Chartier, Gary. Richard Swinburne. Blackwell Companion to the Theologians, 2 vols. Ed. Ian Markham. Oxford, Blackwell 2009. 2-467-74. Hick, John. The Religious Ambiguity of the Universe. Part 2 of An Interpretation of Religion, Human Responses to the Transcendent New Haven, Yale University Press 1989. This section offers a critique of Swinburne's probability theorem regarding the existence of God. Hick, John. Salvation Through the Blood of Jesus. A chapter in the Metaphor of God Incarnate, London, SCM 1993. This chapter includes a revised version of an academic article response to and critique of Swinburne's defense of the atonement in his book of that name. Parks, D. Mark. Expecting the Christian Revelation, an analysis and critique of Richard Swinburne's philosophical defense of propositional revelation. Ph.D. Dissertation, Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary 1995. Parsons, Keith M. God and the Burden of Proof, Plantinga, Swinburne, and the Analytic Defense of Theism. Buffalo, Prometheus 1989. Wolterstorff, Nicholas. Divine Discourse, Philosophical Reflections on the Claim that God Speaks. Cambridge, Cup 1995. Topic. External links Personal homepage at Oxford University, includes a curriculum vitae and more complete list of publications. Presentation at Gifford Lectures Richard Swinburne, Faith and Reason Review from Diasalmata The Moscow Center for Consciousness Studies video interview with Richard Swinburne 31 May 2010